their perfect scenario. This is a youngster, a young riders classification leader, uh, Florian Lipovitz, wears the white, he's on the blower to Primoz Roglic's teammate. So, essentially, um, Roglic has got a lead weight attached to the back wheel here of Ben O'Connor. He's had some drop back help as well from out front. Used them as a foil brilliantly to attack on this final peak. He's getting himself something of a margin, and it's actually growing. It's now 30 seconds. That's a big trim on a day like today, Sean. Yes, and we can see another man from Red Bull coming back here. It looks like oh. Kenny Martinez uh, gang. was in the uh, breakaway, um, and he is going to just give it everything here for Primus Roglic. And, uh, for the man in the red jersey, the race leader here, this is going to be uh, a, a real killer over the final number of kilometres to try and limit the losses. As you can see, you know, a lot of movement on the bike and with what he's been through on the climb to continue on the descent, this is going to be agony for the red jersey. What an amazing day of racing we have. 30 seconds holding margin at the moment. Uh, ben O'Connor having dealt with the climb. He's now got a problem, and that is that Roglic has had a fresher day, I guess you might say, than Ben O'Connor, whose entire team, including O'Connor himself, have been on policing duties throughout. Well, Red Bull Bora Hansgrohe put men in the break. They had uh, men, of course, around Roglic, who were then able to do their duty even behind him. And at the moment, the gaps now just starting to amend. Mass moving up to third place, courtesy of this drive. Clever work by Mass as well, neutralising the threat of George Bennett. Yes, well, he's going to follow Rog Roglic at every occasion. But we can see out front here all coming back together now. We can see Brandon uh, or Jonathan Navarre is coming back and a lot of the riders that were in that breakaway. And we can see more just a little bit off here. So inside the finals, yeah, 1,700 metres. We can see also Quinton Hermans uh, getting in here uh, so this is going to be an interesting one now we can see those guys you know uh, with McNulty chasing here they're not out of it yet with uh, the man we were talking about Navarez the favorite in this one he's not going to do too much either because he can see you know a lot of riders just in the background there so yeah it's going to be a complicated final this 1300 <laughs> meters it certainly is flam rouge beckons and uh, bringing it in and it looks like this group is indeed now not uh, cohesive enough to stay away nice big kick here going from barade and then uh, plonks himself back down in the saddle max paul uh, very much uh, in attendance here and verona kicks again he goes over to the other side of the road this is temptation for anybody else to to try and uh, uh, just match his pace we're into the hoarded section before you know it, there goes the Flamme Rouge right now. These are your twists and turns that will bring us to the line. It's a gentle sweep right once we've dealt with this roundabout, uh, by the way. The road shimmies just a little bit. It bends with about 500, 600 metres to go. Here comes Izagiri trying to steam up on the inside, on the barriers here. Couldn't quite do it. We go to a heli shot right now, and that all it does is open up an opportunity for another flyer. Is that Pippo Zana who's taken off here? Goodness, Dunbar. Dunbar it is. Steady Eddie is going to bring this one home. Goodness me, there's too much of a gap. Eddie Dunbar has absolutely flown the coop and he's going to make this happen. Sensational ride by him. Talk about timing. Everybody else was marking out the uh, quick man, but it looks like there's nobody going to be faster than this man. It's a, still a long drag race to get to the line, but I think he's going to make it. Eddie Dunbar on the barriers here. Is the sound of that deafening out just about absolutely everything but not this man's legs have gone very very loud here he comes Eddie is going to make this home Eddie Dunbar raises his arms touches his helmet as if to say I can't believe it crosses the line we can that's been a long time coming and super welcome for Eddie Dunbar